If you know me, you know I'm a huge Papa's Burgeria fan. This is probably my favorite Papa's game, and it's just a quality game altogether, but I think there is one problem with it. We can't let our artistic side go. We can't be true artistes, and I think that's a huge problem for the game. But you know what? I'm gonna say, screw the regulations, screw the rules, I'm gonna be an artist, and I think my customers will really like it. So yeah, we're gonna speedrun it, we're gonna see how fast we can get to rank 5, while only being an artist. That's the perfect name for me. So it is the first day, and you know, with the first day, with the tutorial, you do have to do everything right, otherwise people will be pissed at you. So we'll go, we'll do our grilling. I think just having a regular hamburger that's only one color is just an ugly thing to have. So I'm gonna do the specialty of half being burned, half being raw, and I think they will turn out beautifully. You know, she wants her specific order, but I think she doesn't really know what she wants. So I'm gonna give her a nice little red and yellow surprise. And I think that is a beautiful art piece. And let's see how she likes it. Oh, wow, she loved it. She must have loved our art because that isn't what she asked for at all. Yeah, so if you haven't caught on, the game that I'm playing right now is hacked. So we're always gonna get completely good orders, no matter what we give them. That seems like a pretty good thing to me. I thought this would be a great time to give myself a challenge. I'm gonna make myself have to do a different art burger each and every time. So for this one for Wally, it's really minimalist art. And he really likes it. I guess he's a huge fan of minimalism, but we can't do the same kind of art piece twice. It has to be different art each and every time. Otherwise, you know, like what's the point? So right away, we're gonna prepare some beautiful raw patties for our customers because that's the type of quality they expect from us. So we're starting off with our boy Chuck. Let's see what he wants. Oh, he wants his nice little barbecue burger. I can give you some barbecue, Chuck. But I think what he didn't realize is burgers, they're a little too overdone. Like everybody can have a burger, but not everybody can have an onion barbecue sandwich. The white and brown really complement each other well, and I think it looks perfect. And Chuck agrees, even though it's not what he wanted at all, he knows that he got just a high class art piece. He could probably sell that for some big money. Oh, in this game, I just noticed Prudence doesn't have her dog yet. I wonder what game she actually gets her dog at. All right, Prudence, hear me out. Instead of whatever the hell you just told me to give you, let's give you symbolism of our culture deconstructed. She loves the pink. See, I knew that because she's wearing pink, she'd also just like pink burgers and you know, she'd just really love that. Now, Penny's an interesting case. I think we really gotta dig deep in to find what would Penny like in an art piece. She has a lot of white on her, so doing a mustard sandwich would be easy, but I think we're gonna challenge the norms. This is what I call the super pickle surprise with mayo. You can see the little hint of mayo in there and she loves it. I think she especially liked that little hint of mayo. It adds to the artist's flavor and it adds to the taste of the burger. If you watch any Pooh Fesher, you know that Wally loves his mayo. And what kind of man would I be if I didn't give Wally his mail. This is the piece that I call pigeon shit. And you know Wally, he loves getting pigeons up in his shit. That was a great day. I think being an artist is like the best way to be a burger. You don't give people what they want, you give them what they need. New customer to try my beautiful burgers on. And you know, I think we need to prepare something. We love giving people raw food, but we need to prepare something different. Oh God, what, what just, oh no. No, did that just restart me? Oh God, I just clicked on an ad on accident. Okay, a little bit of a time loss right there, <laughs> but that's okay. Now, Akari, what's one thing you notice about her when you look at her? Yellow. It really highlights out, and I think that just tells us that she wants something yellow to really suit her needs. This is what I call the contemporary workplace. Now, if you're gonna ask me why, I don't really know, but it seems good enough to me. Oh God, I didn't turn back on my hacks. Yeah, you have to turn on and off your hacks, so that was, that was kind of awkward right there. This represents society and it also represents onions. Hey, look, our hacks are working again. Good for us. Here you go, Penny. I call it bread. Okay, that's be- <laughs> There you go. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy your stack of bread, Penny. <laughs> look, you're not gonna get something as good as bread. I think that's my best art piece of the day, but I think I could still give you something pretty nice. The thing about Penny, is that tomatoes are one of the things that are on what she wants. And so I really decided to go with that design for this art piece, and I decided red. It's a color of anger, a color of passion, a color of love. I think that red is really just like a symbolizing color. But as we know in society, they can't only be red. There must also be yellow. And I guess Prudence agrees with me. So for this art piece, I call it the war because you can see red and yellow are fighting against each other. They both want to gain victory over the other and it's really becoming a divide between them. But there is one man that can bring them together and that's the Avatar. 
Good job, Ang. Good thing Taylor's an Avatar fan. This is a very specific art piece, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Big Polly, I have just the idea for you. Look, I'm not saying that raw meat is better than cooked meat. I'm not saying it. But what I will say is that raw meat has a certain something that cooked meat will never have. This is what I call the slithering snake because, you know, it kind of like goes in like a snake like what you, you guys see it you, you see it looks like big poly has some snakes in his life and that's why he resonated so much with the art piece i think he might want to go to a therapist all right we got prudence again she's been loving our art pieces and we really need to up our factor so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give her a bread sandwich i think that bread sandwiches they're not done enough in the mainstream media but we can't have it just be a bread sandwich we also got to give it some spice some color and then at the top to signify Wally and Wally's blessing, we're gonna give it some mayo. This is what I call, I threw this together in my basement last night and she loves it. She might even wanna visit my basement. So I called this one, don't worry about what this looks like. I guess she liked, don't worry about what this looks like. I wonder for why. Now I'm having to dig deep into my soul for these art creations now. We've been going hard and we've been making a lot of art, but art's hard, especially in this amount of time. It's only been 18 minutes and we've made so many amazing art pieces that no one will ever be able to top, especially in sandwich art. Like I think we are cementing ourselves as the best sandwich artist in the world, but we can keep doing Doing better. I gotta keep challenging myself and making better and better art pieces. So this piece I call poop lol. And you know, just making this piece also gave me inspiration for another piece. So we're gonna be seeing that next. Taylor, you are one lucky man because you're gonna be the first person to try my newest piece of art. So I call this piece one ply toilet paper. And I think Taylor is able to get the symbolism behind that. So with that, we should only have one more day and then we should reach rank five. I think we've been really making people happy and that is something to be proud about. All right, Alberto. This is going to be my greatest piece yet. I call this, I had a bunch of stuff in my fridge and I threw it together, so I guess I'll eat it. Yeah, it's kind of a long name, so we might need to work on that. And we did get Penny again, so thank God we are gonna be able to end our speed run with this day. The unfortunate thing is, that means that people are gonna get less art pieces, which is really sad for my customers, but you know, it is still a speed run. At the end of the day, I gotta worry about me before I worry about them. But we're gonna make this a day to remember, that is for sure. Now I call this one, gravity isn't real. And I'm glad that Penny doesn't believe in gravity either. Gravity is a fake thing made up by scientists. Now I call this burger, gravity isn't real number two, because if gravity isn't real number one is so good, why would there not be a gravity isn't real number two? So, you know, this, I, I don't know how this is structurally sound. Oh, we got another Wally order. Wally, I'm glad you came on my last day. I have something very special for you. I call this burger Among Us because usually Wally just likes his raw meat and mayonnaise burgers, but there seem to be two traitors in there and maybe you guys found them too. Prudence has been on a diet lately and unfortunately we still have to give her bread, but I think this is the perfect diet food. We tried minimalism a little bit ago, but I don't think we experimented with it enough. So I think Prudence deserves something like that. We also really wanna get the sub 30 minutes. So this is called I'm going to rush and then hopefully be able to beat this game faster. Not all art do you have to put a ton of time into. Sometimes art pieces that take like no time at all get really famous. So this is just throwing it together and hoping that Big Polly will like it. <laughs> Dumbass, he thought it actually had some sort of meaning. So we're gonna end time as soon as we see rank five. And there we go. Okay, that's a beautiful time for a beautiful hack speed run of Papa's Burgeria. But that is about it for this beautiful speed run. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, maybe leave a like on the video. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm and I really appreciate it. Also subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more Papa Louie game speed runs as well as speed runs in general. I do plenty of them on this channel and only a small percentage of you guys who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, enough shilling. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time.